I was shocked. I couldn't uh, think anything, and uh, and also I couldn't speak. You know, so I was watching the exchange rate on the internet. I can see the drop. The pounds, you know, is dramatic drop uh, to the dollars, and uh, immediately I realized how tough will be uh, for a small business. So the exchange rate means for international brands, it's really easy for them to enter the UK market. So more than ever before, we're seeing international companies, international fashion collections, wanting to come to the UK to explore opportunities. And indeed, that means this is our largest Pure London ever. Londres, c'est toujours l'endroit le, pour la mode le plus important au monde. Même après Brexit, cela ne change rien. Euh, on vient toujours pour vendre nos produits. Les Anglais sont vraiment excentriques et friandes de produits français. England um, is, is an expandable market and it's, it's forever open to the new idea, to the new brand. And I think that's what makes it, England very compelling for us. No, I, I haven't found uh, less interesting. I actually found it more interesting because of um, the whole situation. People actually starting to be more interested in in UK, and I think actually it is a plus in advantage. And um, fashion business hasn't been, uh, I think, more in bloom than it's nowadays. I think it's definitely a challenging time, um, mainly because of the uncertainty more than anything else. But I think those people that are doing well are the ones that are really focusing on their customer, focusing on their product, and just getting on with it until we know exactly what that's going to mean.